All right, welcome to tonight's training, guys. My name is Lee Nettis Gist here, coming to you guys with the awesome uh, eBay training tonight. This is the uh, part two of our eBay training. We're going to be doing some trainings week to week, every Sunday, basically 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, to help each and every new member that comes on board to get started with eBay in the e-commerce world so they can experience and see what it feels like to actually be able to have uh, a business where they can run from their mobile device, from their laptop, from, you know, from their bedroom, from their uh, their beach house from wherever they can pretty much get a Wi-Fi connection and be able to actually move a product from a supplier to a customer, you know, uh, make a profit on that and actually live a well sustainable income. Um, most frequently, guys, I, I kicked myself in the in the butt recently, and, I, and I'm going to share this with y'all because this is something that, man, I wish I had grabbed the bull by the horn six years ago. I actually had a book that was recommended to me by a friend of mine. It's called The Four Hour Work Week, and I was talking about this book from time to time. But um, uh, like two or three nights ago, I was actually uh, up late, you know, doing some some research and stuff, and there was a website that I remembered that I discovered from this book, and uh, I wanted to. Um, I went back into the, the, the uh, book. I went into it, I went back into the book and I actually started researching through the book, man. And this is 2010. I, I first got this book and I read it. And a lot of the things that we're here talking about tonight, or I've been involved in over the last 12 months. Uh, this guy, Tim Ferriss, he talks about in detail inside this book. So I say this to share with you guys, uh, just have an open mind to learn and grow and grab the bull by the horns right now because I feel like if I had actually paid attention to Shopify, to eBay, to Amazon back in 2010, when I had read about it initially, I can't imagine if I was aggressive as I was, I'm sorry, as I am today back then with that information where I would be today. So, um, Definitely take this information serious and make sure that you take action on it because this is things that can change your life, okay? It's been a blessing for me and my family, and I know it can change yours. So with that said, I know it's changing this young lady's life. So with that said, I want to go ahead and introduce Deja. She's here tonight. She's a Florida native. Uh, she's going to be sharing with you what she's doing to actually get her listings onto the eBay platform with and without the lister and some tips and tricks that she's gone about to get her limits increased and, you know, what she's doing. She's going to share some of that stuff with you. So I'm not going to steal her thunder. So with that said, I'm going to pass the screen over to you here in a second. DJ, let me uh, unmute you. And uh, guys, go ahead, man. Make, drop some, you know, if you let me know where you guys are from. That's her in the chat. I'm sure you guys are. Shout out to Toya in the house. Al, hey, shout out to Al. We actually had a... Uh, Cool um, dinner today with Al, man. Appreciate that. Um, got to learn a lot from a uh, great, great individual as a part of the network. So it's always good to be able to connect with others and um, do that. So I'm going to pass you the screen now. Let's see this. There we go. All right, you should be able to get access to the screen now, Kadisha. Hello? All right, there you go. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Khadijah. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I'm from Florida, like he said. I was homeless, living on the streets. You know, I had a job at Popeye's, just barely making it. And I looked up. I seen this opportunity, and I've been with it ever since. I took my last paycheck with Popeye's, and I made it into something way more than I could have imagined. So I found a little tricks and tips about eBay that I think could interest a lot of people. What you see up here is eBay SH. That gets you to the seller's hub. The seller's hub makes it seem a little bit more professional. I'm gonna you're gonna see me install it here. And this is your new back office. Everybody seeing that okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to my eBay.
Okay, well, um, Leonidas, can you hold on for one moment? Can you guys hold on for one moment? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. We weren't hearing you there for a second, so um, take a moment there. I don't know. I don't know if your internet's acting funny or weird or what have you, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the screen back over to you. <clears throat> Are you still with us, V? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just having a little bit of technical difficulties. Just give me one moment, please. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Take your time. All right, guys, so I know some of you guys might have some questions um, throughout the week. Uh, make sure, you know, that you guys are actually doing a little bit of research yourself as well. And, you know, feel free to share any little tip that you learned with it because, um, believe it or not, I'm learning a lot from just – Reading a lot, reading up a lot of the details, even on eBay's website. You know what I mean? If you if you <clears throat> excuse me, um, if you were to actually let me get over here, log into my back office and show you guys. <clears throat> Oh, hey, Leonidas, I think I got everything together. Okay, you're good. All right, let me pass the screen back to you. All right, you should be good to go. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, everybody, having a little bit of technical difficulties. Well, what you see me on is on the eBay Seller Center. How I got here was from my eBay, and I went to selling. And on the lower left-hand side right here, On the lower left hand side, you'll click all selling. And when you click all selling, you'll see right here where it says seller center. Now, the seller center is a great tool because it tells you what to sell, it tells you how to sell it, it tells you the price range, and it tells you everything that you need to know. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to build your eBay business and the seller hub again, like I told you about before. And just some reasons of why the seller hub is important to you as a business owner, you know. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the seller checklist. Now, the seller checklist, it tells you everything that you need to have before you get to list a, a, a product. I'm sorry about that. And if your list or your ad does not meet to all these standards, that can be a reason why you're having a hindrance of views or sellers. Yes, the seller hub is the selling center. Same thing. And now we're going to go right here to what to sell. Right here, eBay tells you everything what to sell. They tell you the price range is the only thing you... What would you like me to repeat? The seller hub is the seller center. Yes, it is. That's when you, the customer influx and views, that's when you go to the seller hub and you update it. That would be your new back office. That would be your new My eBay. You, you understanding everything so far? So the next thing, the right here is everything that you can possibly want to sell or what's in what's hot right now they tell you the price ranges they tell you the new the use so let's say I want to buy 
a PS4. I'm going to list it now. And this is a hot sale. This right here is going to get you a lot of views and a lot of a lot of watchers to your products because you're selling hot items that everyone wants right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to eBay and I'm going to show y'all manually how to list an item. Go to my eBay, all selling. I'm going to do it both ways on the seller hub and the all way. So you go down here to sell an item. And I'm just going to go ahead on to AliExpress just to grab an item for right now. Uh, let's do computer, office, surveillance products. Five ninety eight. So it says waterproof outdoor indoor fake security dummy surveillance cameras. It's really just LED lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take pic and going to go ahead and come back here to um, sell it on eBay. Sell an item. Then I'm going to type in LED light dummy camera new condition click continue because no item matches mine And then you're just going to go through all the steps. I'm not going to go through all the steps right now, but you're going to go through all the steps. Mostly everything down here, you just leave it the same, or you can match it to what the selling product is. You know, automatically relist just so that it can automatically relist without you having to go back into it and keep relisting it. Sure, I want to leave this page. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about eBay is the eBay pay. eBay holds your money for 90 days. You have to have 25 customers and $250 worth of sale. You have to have all those things at the same time. But if you do sell an item, eBay does, re they do let go a portion of your money so that you can ship the item to the customer. And I mean, is there any other questions about eBay? Any concerns? Any anything? I know. Yeah, um, Simone was asking, Khadija, could you talk a little more about uh, increasing traffic and how you actually get uh, more views to your some to your items? But when I, say, I just saw that item. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question for me? Could you cover uh, like a little more on the product uh, detail page? What type of, uh, what what should be focused on to help increase more uh, traffic to the items? Well, really what would increase more traffic to the items is just doing everything like the eBay Seller Hub says, honestly. Go to the Seller Center. One second, my internet's going a little slow. Yeah, could you, could you walk us through a little more detail, like what you do specifically to help uh, for your listings? I 
just really follow everything that eBay Hub Seller Center says to do. I make sure I have four pictures. I make sure I have enough detail. I make sure that everything is key. Everything that I list, it's properly list. I make sure that it just meets up to eBay's expectation. And the more that it meets up to their expectations, the more that they'll push it. Awesome. Uh, another question here. Um, someone said they just sold an item for over two fifty. They're curious to, to find out how to get eBay to relist their to mm -hmm. to let go of the funds. To let go of their funds, that's going to be a little tricky, because like I said before, you have to wait ninety days. You have to become an existing seller. With an existing seller, consists of you being in on eBay for 90 days, you're selling actively on eBay for 90 days. You have a total of over 25 customers. Also, you make a sale of 250 or more altogether or one sale. No matter what, they're going to hold your money until the 90 days are up, until they feel like you're an existing seller and you're not a new seller. Any more questions, Mr. Leonidas? <laughs> I felt the same way too. Um, yeah. What what type of which categories do you find have you found uh, that are, that are working best for you? TVs, televisions, televisions, televisions. Not only televisions, I would say dolls. Anything like you see this here. I've sold one of those already. Just that's just me giving you something for free. I've sold these. That's why I pushed my quantity up to ten. And I mean, they've been selling good. So you see, it's only got fifteen views. I haven't really been on this account very much. Also, something that I forgot was how to get eBay to to um, raise your seller's limit. I'm sorry, eBay, the computer is acting. How do you put tracking number? I'll go, I got you on that one. I'll go over that one. My computer is just acting. Hey, Mr. Leonidas, can you take over? My computer is acting slow again. All right, give me one second. There you go. All right, uh, please go on about the limit. But a couple more questions. No, that's fine. Um, someone was asking about how do how do they put their tracking information in on their product? I'll go through that one. I was trying to um I'm trying to bring up where eBay shows you what you need to qualify as an existing account so that everyone would know how to access it. Just in case they forget or anything, they can know how to get there themselves. The computer's not working with me. Well, while that's doing, while that's doing whatever it's doing, how you ship an item is, I think I've sold one on this already. No, I did not. But if you come here to more actions, you'll see where it says post shipping or package shipping. You will go to package shipping, and when you go to package shipping, it'll go through all the postmark details with you. And Or if you just want to enter a tracking number, enter the tracking number and just put China Post, USPS, USP Ground, whatever the tracking is, go ahead and put that in there. You'll see it right there on more actions, right next to where you buy it. It'll say sold, and then it'll say more actions. So you just go there. Right here, this is what I wanted to talk about. You see, um, I got my account lifted to 5,000. The, the reason how I got my seller's account lifted to 5,000 and I can sell a hundred items is because they still they they still consider this account a new seller's account because I haven't really been pushing this account but I've been on here for longer than 90 days so because I've been on here for longer than 90 days they just went ahead I called eBay and I said can you please um 
upgrade my seller's account, upgrade my um, selling number and my item number, and they just went ahead and they said, you know what, I'll give you 5000 for this, and you can list 100 items. I did it for my two other active eBay. One of them was 3500 The other one was 5000 again. So, I mean, if don't ever be afraid to call eBay and ask for anything because I'm always on their phone because whenever I make a sale, I just want to know, look, I'm still considered a new seller. When when, when am I going to stop being a new seller? And I just have all these questions for them. So I'm never, and also right here it says request higher selling limits. It's, this has never really worked for me. So I'll be surprised if it actually works. But I'm going to go ahead and see if it works. No, well, it, they hold the money for 21 days in PayPal. See, they say link to another seller account, talk to us on the phone. So any which way, you're still going to have to talk to them on the phone. They hold your money for 21 days or three days after the product shipping says delivered. So three days after the customer has got, got in or receiving the item, they then release your money. That's really when they release your money. Any more questions? As far as shipping, what do you choose for the shipping time? I normally choose five to 10 days. Just because I know I, me personally, I get most of my stuff out of the, con out of the country. So because I get most of my stuff out of the country, I give it five to ten handling days and three days shipping just to give it some time, you know. But once you update it on eBay, eBay will track it for you. They'll track it for you and the customer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I don't see any other questions right now. Let me see. Okay. What are some of the supplies that you use for your, your listings? Most of I mostly use AliExpress or Alibaba to be honest. I like Ali. I mostly I love Alibaba because Alibaba has some great cheap prices to be honest with you. So I would say Alibaba is my favorite one out of the most, and I do more shopping on Alibaba than AliExpress. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, just better prices, better deals. How do I? I'm I'm not understanding that question so much so uh, well once you get the tracking information uh, you should be able to plug that into eBay and they, uh, they'll be able to track it from with whichever provider the, uh, the, the Amazon seller it's, yeah, if it's a third party they're going to go ahead and provide you all the tracking information what you do is you just take the tracking information from amazon and post it on ebay and ebay can track the package themselves just post the tracking number as long as ebay has the tracking number you're okay does that answer the question for you Yeah, tell them that it could have got lost in the shipping. It, anything could have happened. Anything could have happened. Make up an excuse. It was raining, holidays. Just give it a little time. It probably got lost in the mail. It's coming. I'm sure it's there. I, I remember shipping it out. You have the tracking number. Just reassure the customer. I mean, anything else? Anything else that you have? Any questions? 
I see any other uh, any other questions uh, pop, populating as yet. Um, this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, I learned quite a bit because uh, some of those things I, I overlook it and I overthink it myself when it comes to listing on eBay. Uh, so uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate that guy. Uh, the, it, uh, I know that a lot of people got some value from this, from this training tonight. And I'm telling you, um, just like many of you guys, man, I really overthought eBay and Amazon quite a bit. And now that I'm really diving into it every day with the trainings and networking, I'm really seeing how easy and simple it is to really uh, find products that you can sell and gain a profit on and be able to take uh, your business to the next level very quickly. So, um, yeah, it's not that's it's, it's not a problem. I mean, when you think about it, shipping from Amazon to eBay, um, it's it's no different really than what the big the big boys do. Apple does it when they ship from uh, China to the U S you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's third party arbitrage. So it's, it's a hundred percent legal because you're actually doing the work for the customer. You're del delivering a product or service for him. So, um, it's, it's, it's totally fine. It's been going on for as long as man has probably been around and it probably won't ever stop. So just, um, just continue, you know, working within the guidelines that we, uh, we've, we've provided for you to be able to stay within the seller guidelines of eBay and Amazon. I mean, do review, the terms of condition and the terms of service, you will be surprised what you will learn in there. Um, I actually have been taking some time out and literally if you got, if you got to set a timer up just to go ahead and, and uh, you know, sit for like 15 minutes and re read for just for 15 minutes. It, 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 there are a lot of stuff in the terms of service and so on. So if you need to feel free to do that and uh, it's going to open your eyes to quite a bit of, um, knowledge that you you might have thought that you didn't have so uh don't be shy to get back there into you know in, into the training i'm just gonna cover some stuff here for you uh, review some some ebay training for some of you guys just so you guys know where to find this stuff because it, is, it can be a little confusing sometimes so when you log in your back office just click on training if, if you're at the prime level Come in here, look at the eBay training. It goes through all the different steps that you need to go through to get your eBay listing set up. Amazon shopping for profits. Take a take a look at it. Get some stuff listed on Amazon as well. Same with Bonanza. Bonanza is another platform that you can use to sell stuff with. I actually had a uh, Bonanza account a few years ago, and I spent some time listing some um, bags and uh, winter stuff and so on and. Just slowly but surely, sales started to come in from Bonanza, and it's pretty cool because you can link your stuff from eBay over to Bonanza and over with um, WooCommerce and, and so on and so forth. And we'll talk some more about those other other platforms as well. Uh, feel free to dive in here. You know, get involved with Infini, see what's going on in the trainings. Um, this is where you can actually learn about using the eBay listing tools and, and, and the trackings and so on. If you guys are having any issues with the tools. Uh, you know, feel free to send a support ticket in. Okay, feel free to, to drop a question in, in the in, in the the group chat or in the in, in the Facebook group. Okay, send an email, something, message me. You know, get reach out to somebody because, like I said, we're gonna learn by sharing and networking with each other. So, um, support. This is how you can actually get to support. Click on help desk. I'm just gonna open it, show you. I'm in your back office. Click click on the help desk. Um, there's the different. Topics that you can visit here in the, in the knowledge base where you can actually um, get some answers that can ha build your confidence in what you have and how you can actually expand your, your business international, um, not just on the networking side, but also on the e-commerce side because there's a lot of different um, plugs that you can you can take advantage of and be able to, to expand your business. So keep that in mind. Um, those of you that are on the surge, again, visit this training. You know, here's some advanced eBay stuff. Here's some... Here's some stuff where you can actually learn about uh, gaining more traffic through SEO for your listings, right? So you can be able to have a lot more um, traffic basically hitting your site, so you, hitting your listing, so you can increase your chances of getting sales. Um, Amazon does. Uh, Amazon actually holds your funding, your funds for two weeks. I think it's like you get paid twice a month. Um, we do have some listings that you'll have in the resources once we, we review them to ensure the process and everything where you, with Amazon, you can actually get your funds a lot faster. With Shopify, it's more of 
um, with your PayPal account, you get the payments instantly. So let's say if you make a sale right now at 932, that payment is going to be in your PayPal account if the customer chooses to pay with PayPal, which means as they make the payment, you can then go to your supplier and, and um, fill that order and you have your profits transferred to your bank or withdraw, whatever you want to do with it, reinvest it, expand your advertising. Um, that's And if you're using Shopify payments, which they have their merchant within inside of Shopify, where you can actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where they process credit card credit card processing for you, you will be they, they pay you out every 72 hours. So if you make a sale today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, today's the today's sales will close out at midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time, and that will be uh, deposited into your bank account on Wednesday. So every 72 hours is the delay on that. However, once you once you hit that first 72 hour wait. And you have sales coming in every day, then you're going to be having uh, deposits into your bank account every single morning, minus Sundays, uh, because the banks are closed on Sundays, and you'll have deposits on that following Monday for Sunday and Monday sales. So, um, if you're using your own merchant account with with Shopify, then the payments will be available uh, depending on your merchant setup with their when, when your batches close out. Uh, mine closes out at midnight, so it's available the very next morning at four thirty four thirty ish in the morning. The money's available to to get out the door. So that's probably a, a really quick way you can help to scale your business up is having your own merchant or you're using Shopify and kind of really diving into Facebook ads training. Okay. So and I'm gonna show you where to find some of that some of that uh, Facebook stuff so that you can start taking action on Shopify because it's a very it's a very powerful platform using it with Facebook. So feel free Visit this training frequently, guys. It's not a one-time thing. As you can see, there's a lot of valuable information back here. Um, learn about the shippings in the UK and all that kind of stuff because you can talk to people in the UK, share this opportunity with, and you can actually create a back-end income as well. So you can have money to invest for FBA for uh, into product as your sales begin to grow, uh, and you can also expand your business out. So don't be don't be shy. You know, set your goals, set your, your daily goals to be able to do your listings. That way you can actually, and your trainings as well, that way you can learn while you earn and have your your, uh, your listings up on a regular basis so that eBay and Amazon can see that you're consistent with it. Once you get to the point where you can hire staff to do it, you'll be able to do so. Um, for Surge members, at the Surge level, that's where you're going to gain access to um, Shopify training. As you can see, there's some uh, straight up Shopify training back here on set up and all that, all that cool jazz with shop with shopify so you feel free to dive in back here and all that kind of stuff there's some facebook ads inter, ads overview audience insight tools uh, these are great tools that you want to take advantage of inside the search level so you can basically have the know-how how to use shopify with facebook and be able to gain some traffic to your store okay because with traffic with facebook with shopify it's all about getting traffic to your store the more traffic you get to your store you'd be able to have uh, more, better results and be able to get more sales. You know what I mean? So don't 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 hesitate to actually dive into that training. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, inside of our members area, hang on. Got some marketing stuff. Inside of our, our, me our members area, this is where you can actually find more of the training um, for – Basically, all the trainings that we do, this is where they're going to be located at. All the basic stuff, all the Prime membership. Make sure you guys visit this training often. This is where you're going to find the replays uh, from all the trainings that we do, on classes on Sundays, on Thursdays, and any other trainings that we do in between. Um, all this is basically geared towards e-commerce, okay? From Facebook advertising, how to set up a business entity, how to do product research, um, creating your Shopify store, advertising, pixel installation, eBay, uh, some eBay uh, shopping from, uh, doing arbitrage from eBay through Shopify using AliExpress. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of all the meat and stuff that I've usually created with six figures that you're gonna find right here in in the membership area. Okay, any updates that we have that I learn, I'm gonna be placing it here. I'm gonna be doing adding some training to this. I'm gonna be showing you guys some resources, some good trainings that I might find that are powerful and that I, that I think is going to help you to increase your Shopify results, you're going to find them. I'm going to bring them back here for you guys, okay, so you guys can learn why you're going to be able to take advantage of all this stuff. So don't be shy. If you got any questions, feel free to shoot shoot me a question, um, and I'll be able to create a training for you. These trainings are going to be short to the point so you can have 
um, all the information right at your fingertips 24 7 so that you can be able to grow your business at the speed that you want to grow it so uh, again thanks for coming out and sharing tonight D thank you guys for showing up for this training thanks for all the, the questions thanks for the support guys um, I'm really glad to see some of you guys are taking action all of, all of you guys are taking action and have results inside of your business I know I am and I'm excited for you guys that are and I really want to be able to continue to provide more training and more uh, support for you guys those are um, not for prime they're only open for anybody that's in surge okay so once you're in search, you're going to get access to all the Shopify and the Facebook stuff. That way you can be able to be on the same part because I want to maintain the integrity with the, with, with Infinite and with our membership so that everybody can be on the same page and you can be able to earn and uh, grow your business effectively. Okay, so thanks for coming out, guys. I really had a – I got a book full of notes here. I hope that you guys, hey, just take action on it. I hope you guys are, are taking action this week. Make sure that you get your listings up. Make sure that you're, you're uh, doing product research.